Smart lighting has been defined as many, many things, but in essence, it's lighting that is controlled, is controllable, uh, and with the objective of saving energy, increasing comfort, uh, and complying with legislation. We have to be clever about how we can actually produce some energy saving, and, and using smart lighting, you have the ability to do that and not put the customer in danger, no, no one actually really notices it, but we are actually making a saving for you. There are a few challenges in the market at the moment with DALI systems because we're talking about quite high installation commissioning costs. With the, wi uh, the Harvard Wireless iNAT system, you haven't got substantial installation commissioning costs and you can actually con take control yourself. Where I see the potential for us is to have IP addressable control of our lighting because it can be uh, very high up in the shopping centres or it can be very difficult to reach. Most of the lighting control technologies we have are based on old data transfer methods and there really needs to be some innovation in the actual getting data from the light fitting to the control system. We're in a, an age where users' patience is very minimal. So if it's too complicated, if it doesn't work first time, people disengage with it. There's heating, ventilation, security, fire systems. So I, you know, and we, we've, we've begun to work through other companies with and head end in BMS integration. And I think that's something we'll need to look at more because, frankly, customers are requesting that we work with part of wider gamut of, of, of building control facilities. Lighting can be used as part of the infrastructure to take data from specific points, but it itself produces data which can be very useful in the Internet of Things and understanding how people and systems are working together uh, and generating that data for, for further analysis. There's a, a revolution in terms of networking and communication technology. There's a revolution in terms of user interfaces. And there are amazing things going on in terms of the efficiency of light sources. Combining all of those together, this is a very exciting time to be doing lighting controls. The cost to put intelligence as close or into the luminaire as possible, which is what GUI is doing, is it's building a platform which is putting intelligence right inside the luminaire. And it's building a suite of products around that to provide to an OEM to optimize the system. So chips inside the LED with a piece of an operating system on. I was very, very fortunate to be in our development labs and saw some incredible things that being able to to, to predict behaviour um, and whether we can actually um, make the building change to suit the users rather than just having fixed recalling of scenes. We've got to build our control systems around the users. If users feel they're being controlled too much, they will bypass it. And one of my experiences is people still like to be able to control the light switch and that element of control. You hit a switch and you expect something to happen and that's human, natural human behaviour. You can't take that away. I just think the switch is going to evolve or the dimmer from being a mechanical device to being a software driven actuation device that sends signals, that's all. I don't think its place on the wall is going to be around for a while to come at least.